the fatigue, I was really drained and you know, could hardly get out of bed. Jeff Ingman was one of the early ones to get COVID, but his symptoms stuck around. I'm talking pretty good now, but early on I was trying to talk and, and I had trouble finding the words. One of the most common symptoms of long haul COVID is having some type of what people are calling brain fog. UC San Diego neurologist Jennifer Graves is leading a team tracking neurological symptoms in COVID long haulers. What we've realized is shortly after the infection and in the first few weeks to months, folks complain of having headaches and fatigue. And then over time, we see a shift of folks complaining more about memory problems and inattention and difficulty multitasking. They found 15 to 30 percent of long haulers cognitive skills were impacted. Of 56 long haulers, six months after getting COVID, two thirds still reported persistent neurological symptoms. The most prevalent, memory loss. One leading theory that I, I think is very probable is that it's all triggered by the immune response to this virus. That even if the virus isn't directly invading the brain, it's triggering the immune system to behave in a way that triggers inflammatory response in the brain. And so far, this response can last up to a year or even longer. The good news is the newer variants of this virus seem to be less likely to trigger this phenomenon. I'm Marty Salt reporting.